And hey there guys, what is going on? Rye Guy Rocky here, and welcome back to another episode of Area 31. Well today, guys, uh, we have some important things to discuss indeed. I can't tell which of your guys' comments are true and which are not. Basically, from what I understand, everyone is out to get me. Some of you are saying Tyser is planning on attacking me and betraying me. Then again, I don't know if you guys are allies of Snake, who I have also heard is planning on attacking and killing me. So I don't know if you're lying to me to get me to betray Tyser, but no matter what happens, put it this way. Whether Tyser plans on attacking me or not, I am going to stay the way I am, which is avoid overall war against anybody, pretty much besides Snake, because I already attacked him, so I guess I'm already on the downside there. But... If, it's, if I do get information that Tyser is attacking me, he is picking the fight with the wrong person indeed. Because I I will do something. I don't know what I would do, but I will do something to stop him. Don't you guys worry. So, <clears throat> let us begin here. So today, I want to get working on some more explosives. But instead of going red tier, I want to make a blue tier explosive. I don't know what type I want to make, but let's go through and just take a look. So we can do a nuclear, which requires yellowite, which you can find just by mining in the ground, which requires thermobarics and incendiaries and chemical bombs. I could do a nuclear... I could do EMP, I could do exothermic, which I believe is just fire, pretty much. I could do endothermic, which is like ice, ice unmelting. Okay, don't, that one looks kind of difficult. Anti-gravitational, which is just eyes of ender. I could do ender explosives. That sounds insane. Uh, I could do hyper hypersonic. It, this stuff is insane. So, hypersonic, I feel as though that one just shatters glass and stuff. And then there's the EMP, which would remove stuff. I think I want to go for nuclear. It just seems to be the one that I should go for the most. So if we take a look, I'm going to need eight yellowite. I'm going to need a lot of chem... So if we look, I need four incendiaries. I need four chemicals. And I need one repulsive explosive. The repulsive, I remember, is easy. It's just too condensed, which is super simple. Um, if I remember then correctly, that the chemicals are poison powder which you get from that, and you get three. So I'm going to need a lot of zombie brains and zombie eyes and or those spider eye things. And then the incendiary is a lot of sulfur. Basically, it's sulfur. Uh, and then you need a repulsive and lava for that one. And that's going to be insane. So what I'm going to do now is let's go upstairs, and we're going to head over and make our way over to uh, my neighbor's house. My neighbor's I don't know why I said my neighbor's house. Let's go over here, uh, right here. Here we go. And if we look here, I know I have yellow right pretty much everywhere in here that I have not touched because I have never had a need for it because I've never done the big reactor stuff. Now, if you guys have any suggestions and you see stuff I have that I'm not using and you, I could make good use of it, let me know because I'm not the smartest when it comes to what I should be using and when, so I just kind of grab stuff and go with the flow. Um... Oh, so I'm going to need zombie eyes. I'm going to need sulfur as well. So we'll grab that way in advance. But right now, let's get the yellow right. Oh, there's more sulfur. Okay, maybe we'll keep... Maybe we're making sul getting sulfur this trip. Uh, but I think we should get that yellow right first and sort of work backwards. Sort of not. Because we're also going to need to make poison powder. I don't see any yellow right. I thought I could just... Aha! Yellow right. It must be a rare block because I don't see much yellow right at all. Um, actually, I see pretty much none, um, to be honest with you. Uh, which is not a great thing. Um, yellow right, no. No, see, I thought I would be able to get yellow right very easy, but maybe not. Maybe yellow right's going to be something difficult. Uh, let's look up here. Do I see any? Uh, no, but I see some glow. Oh, that's glow. So I was going to say, I found sulfur. Okay. Uh, yellow right up in this one, maybe. Oh, we got three there. Okay, we just need eight. So maybe I'll have enough. Uh, if not, I can do some mining and hopefully dig some up here. Uh, yellow right, yellow right, yellow right, no. Uh, maybe it's something you only find in the top layers. Uh, there's another zombie brain. I don't see any spider eyes. Uh, down this one. This same one. Same one. I think. Yeah. And then we got some of that. I'm surprised uranium is not used. It kind of surprises me a little bit, uh, to be honest with you, because I would think uranium would be, like, one of the first things. Um, I see, oh, a lot of sulfur there. That's good. Uh, a lot of sulfur there. That's amazing. Uh, I don't see any yellow right. It's kind of disappointing. I, I don't know if I'm missing it or there's oh yeah, there's three more yellow right. Um, there's three more yellow. Okay, that's enough yellow right now. And there's 49 sulfur. Okay, so we have enough sulfur now. So let's just look again here. Nuclear. We got the yellow right. 
Uh, chemical, we're gonna need, so we're gonna need, we go three from each, so let's just do some math here. So nuclear, I know math, right? Oh, horrid. You're not watching YouTube for math, but too bad. Stick around. So we need four of these. Each has eight. Four times eight is 32. Each makes three, so we're gonna need basically 11 of each spider eyes and zombie brains. So I have four zombie brains now. We'll see if I can pull 11 out of this real quick. Um, see if there's any more in here that I'm not looking for because I wasn't looking for them really before. Just if I spot them, I grab them. I have so much sulfur. I'm not saying it's a bad thing, but holy crap, I thought sulfur was going to be the hardest part of this. Obviously not. Um, so it looks like I have zo uh, some zombie brains. I didn't really check these ones overly thoroughly. I'm also looking for spider eyes. Um, let's just take a look here. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. I don't really see any, unfortunately. It was probably limited to just the ones that I had before. Um, hmm. Nope, I don't really see any. Uh, that's unfortunate. Okay, that's fine. I didn't really check the first one for them either. It, uh, come on, I can do that. Uh, why, don't, why don't I just jump to the top? That would be easy. Uh, okay, so that's fine uh, if I don't find any. Um, at this moment, oh, looks like my laser's going to be going off. Welcome to nighttime. My laser's actually obnoxious as all heck during the night, and it makes me want to hit things. It's so annoying. Um, I might even just start disconnecting it at night, or maybe put some sort of, like, daylight, whatever the thing they're called. I don't know, but it's really annoying. So I'm going to disconnect you for now, Mr. Turret, because you are annoying. And at night when there's mobs, I have to make you, like, pl shoot at only players. I don't care about the mobs. Maybe I just light everything up on the island so no mobs spawn. Anyway, so we have sulfur, we have some of these, and we have yellowrite. So let's get the yellowrite just smelting. I don't really think I need to go through the process of doing anything fancy with it because I have enough already. So let that do its thing. Uh, so let's check here. Um, so we're going to need chemical explosives. We're going to need the incendiaries, which is a bunch of sulfur. A lava bucket. So I'm going to need... And how many incendiaries do I need? I need, I believe, four of those. So I'm going to need four buckets of lava along with all this sulfur. Uh, so four buckets of lava. So we'll go get those now. I believe I have tons of buckets. Bucket. So I have five. Oh, I already have buckets of lava. Okay. Come here. Two, three, and four. So I need four buckets of lava, sulfur, and then along with that, I think it was some sort of bomb I needed. That's kind of interesting. Let's just see real quick. Uh, nuclear that and I think it was a bot yeah I need a repulsive bomb which is two condensed explosives which is TNT redstone TNT gets me one so I'm gonna need right now uh, basically so yeah it's four TNT basically per uh, incendiary thing so that's a total of eight TNT and four redstone the redstone's on four but the eight TNT and then along with that, the repulsive explosive, uh, I'm going to need an extra two, so that's ten. So I'm going to need ten TNT, basically, to finish this thing off here. So let's get ten, do I even own TNT? I don't even know if I own TNT. I thought I might have some lying around somewhere. <clears throat> um, maybe not, maybe not, which is fine. Um, hmm. TNT, aha, so I do have seven, so I just need three more. And if I remember how TNT, oh, right need that and we're gonna need spider eyes as well eventually we almost have enough in the zombie brains I almost forgot about that part of it and then I said we we're gonna be ready we're not gonna be ready because we also need that other stuff hooray um but -a -ba -da -ba -da -ba. god where is it okay there's some zombie brains I was like I have zombie brains I know I do and I need 11 of them and I have one spider eye that's that's it guys that's all I needed was a spider eye or like Okay, what I can do is I can shift click and in chest to see if uh, there's any in there. Uh, yeah, clear. Okay, and let's just check this thing for spider eyes. Otherwise, we're going on a spider hunt. I have spider eyes. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So we have enough for that already. And I believe I just put those next to each other and I already have the poison powder, right? Yeah, I do. There we go. So we have that done. Now we just need three TNT and that's made with... Actually, it's made differently because normally you need gunpowder, I believe. Yeah, it's gunpowder, but you can't, you have to build gunpowder in this using sulfur and diff or different materials, and it's made differently, it, or you can take crusher, crush flint and you get it. It's made differently because creepers drop sulfur in this instead, 
So if we look, or I can surround gunpowder with one redstone. Uh, there's a few different ways to do it, but let's do it this way. So I do need gunpowder, but to do it, I'm going to have to craft it by crushing flint. So let, oh, come here. I have a crusher right there, and I know I have flint. Uh, I don't know why you used to use flint in that thing, but I think I have flint lying around somewhere. I have flint and steel. But do I have flint? I'm going to need... Let's see if I can find some flint. Flint, 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 flint. That, that could be a tongue twister, saying flint like 50,000 times fast. Um, That's strange. Oh, I have one gunpowder there. Uh, but I need flint. Flint. Come on. How do I not have flint? Oh, there we go. Flint. 29. Let's crush that up. And I'm going to need uh, three TNT. So, let's see. Three TNT. Shh. I thought I shut you off. Time out. One second. Uh, let me go check on that. Why are you not shutting up? I could have swore I disconnected this son of a gun. How? Oh, you still have power. In fact, you're barely even draining. You're still gaining power, in fact. How are you gaining power? I'm not... T oh, my God. Okay, you know what? You know what? Fine. You keep doing your thing. I'm turning sound off. Um... So we'll shut him up by turning sound off. Um, and let's go back downstairs. And <laughs> let's go check on the stuff. So basically, uh, for one TNT, you need one, two, three, four, five uh, gunpowder per thing. So I'm going to need 15 gunpowder. Uh, so I have six here. So I think I'm going to have exactly 15, which is perfect. Um, that's seven. And then we need sand. So I'm assuming I have sand. I do I have two sand. That's that's not enough. So while that uh, does its thing, that the crusher, let's go get some sand really fast. And I know I have tons of sand. Actually, I pro something that didn't occur to me. I probably have sand in this uh, these here chests. I always went out to go get it, but I would assume I have it in these chests because it was mining up part of a beach. Maybe not, but it was. Um, nope, maybe not. Okay, I thought it would have sand. It's it's possible it doesn't. Uh, I just wanted to check. Okay, well it doesn't, um, because you can see it like strip mine the corner of this beach, which used to be a beach and is now definitely not a beach, kind of decimated. Um, here we go. So let's just mine up all this sand really quick, and we don't need too much sand. I think we just need like enough. So I think we need like 15. I think it's because it's five and five. Uh, 15 cent. I got 30 already. Okay, so we already are done with that. Let's just head back home. And man, this place is destroyed. I really destroyed this land. And um, even though people know where I am, I'm not really interested in moving. If they want to come to my base, uh, let them. I'm not overly worried. Um, if I, as long as I have high defenses, and my end goal is to get a force field eventually up running 24/7. So that'll be protecting me. So let's see if that stuff is done. Maybe my turret's done now. Seems to be. Uh, gunpowder. Eight. Why won't... What? Oh, you don't always get uh, gunpowder out of it. Now, why aren't you doing this last flint? Crusher. Crusher, there's, there's still another flint there. Or maybe it takes multiple to... Uh, was I missing something? How do you get gunpowder? Was it multiple in a crusher? It ta Oh, it takes up four in a crusher to get one. I see, I see. Okay, so we only have eight. That limits us because we're that's not going to be enough. In fact, that's not enough at all. We're still seven short. So if we look here, we have enough for one TNT. So it looks like we're going to need a ton of flint. So if we go upstairs, I'm sure I can find a ton of flint. And if we think it's four for one, so to get... We're going to need quite a bit more. We're going to need five. So it's five per thing. You need... So I need two and then five. Seven, seven times four is 28. So I need 28 gunpowder, or uh, 28 flint, which looks like is not gonna be even a problem. Wow, I already have exactly 28, perfect. 28 flint just to get this up and running. So I'll be right back once that's done, because that's all that's left is to get this flint in here and crushed up. So I'll be right back. So I got the materials now, so it goes one, two, three, four. Then it's one, two, three, four, and then it's that, or not. Maybe it's like that. Okay, there we go. Now we got the thermal barrack, and now I just have to surround this in the yellow, right? And bam, we have a nuclear explosive. That is right. Look at this bad boy. I'm not even going to put it on the ground. I don't want this near my base. This is going in the ender chest. 
This is insanity. We have a nuclear bomb, guys. We, ugh, I could turn it into a missile and launch this at someone's base at any time. Any time. So that we have this, guys. We are showing our power with a nuclear freaking bomb. That is right. We have a nuclear bomb to protect ourselves against any person who may want to betray me or any person who wants to attack me and all of that. But, uh, you know, whatever happens, happens. And uh, I think I'm ready for it. I got a, I got a nuke. I can threaten people. Put a sign outside my base. Attack me and you'll face the nuke. You know? It's okay, though. Uh, what, what a big portion of this is, guys, though, is it is a lot of it is showing off your power and uh, making sure the enemy realizes that you are a formidable foe. So, yeah. Um, I have to get to around this plane, but that's really it for this episode, guys. Um, I know a lot of this has been, like, crazy lately, and my schedule's been a little, little weird, but it's getting back to normal. I've just been, uh, catching up on a few things and all of that, and it, it's just been a, a catching up time for me. And, uh, the schedule will be back on normal, obviously, starting, well, today, really, because this is when I would normally do it. And, uh, everything's gonna be back to daily uploads, except for, obviously, I don't do, uh, Sunday or Monday. Well, I, I pick either if I don't record Sunday or don't upload Sunday then I don't I then I will upload Monday and if I don't upload or if I do upload Sunday I won't upload Monday which kind of depends um so basically guys this in summary uh yeah we made a friggin nuke and uh we can scare off all the people that might want to either betray us or attack us or anything like that so we're all set and we are ready for what may come next and all of that but do remember guys this is all for a good cause if you'd like to help out uh link in the description below uh it's i believe it's a31.me and it's an area 31 website where you guys can donate and all money goes to cancer research it will really really help out it's for an, a fantastic cause and this series is all to benefit um the cancer research you know because um you know cancer is a problem and uh, i say that so lightly it's a huge 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 problem and you know getting this money out there it, it's for a great thing we show that us gamers as a community can stand up for something you know so major by helping and raising money and awareness and all of that so it's really for a great cause guys we've raised i believe over a thousand dollars in donations which is in insane you know it's absolutely insane so yeah you guys you guys have been wicked cool and do remember you can help out your favorite youtuber uh whoever you want whether it's snake whether it's me whether it's tyser or jimmy or whoever it's all for a great cause so that's really it guys thank you guys again for watching this episode of area 31 and as always stay beautiful